Kitty, it's your favorite little keto goofball diamond. And today is day 1734 of my ketogenic journey. I think going from 311 pounds to where I sit today. We'll talk all about that in just a minute and how my day went. Boy, oh, what a day. I'm so tired. Um, I said I was going to relax all week. Apparently, I lied. Anyway, you guys, like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell because it's time. To rant, rave, and misbehave, Keto Diamond style. Thirty-three at night. Haven't been home very, very long, about 30 minutes or so, because at some point this evening, my husband's like, I'd like to take a ride. And Corey's like, I'd like to drive. And she's like, Aaron got paid today. Let's get some gas money. And then started off, decided to go see a swinging bridge in Grandfather Mountain, which was about, about two and a half hours away, I suppose. Um, I sit in the back with Anthony. Corey drove most of the way there until she nearly gave us a heart attack and and the roads were getting ready to get much tighter, smaller, and windier. So, hubby took over. Whew. Love her. Good gracious. But she's she's a new driver. So, she's getting there. And uh, she's very unfamiliar with mountainous roads. So, uh, and plus, when she get, did get on the side of the mountain, she was very glad she didn't drive up through there. Uh, not that she couldn't have done it had she needed to. But I was very grateful she didn't need to because, ooh, some of them roads. Some of them roads. And, and, and she, she likes to come to a roll and stop at about 60 miles an hour. I'm like, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> she'll get there. She'll figure it out. Uh, we had a great time, though. We did try to get out and look around other than the swinging bridge. The swinging bridge was closed for the day when we got up there and found out. Um, but a little ways down, we tried to stop at this lookout and go down a little trail. It was cold and we were wearing shorts and a tank top well me and anthony were wearing shorts and stuff we, we kind of came out comfortable but it was not so cool it was so warm up there as it is down here so and the wind was blowing pretty hard so it's a little cold uh and you may hear the washer going because i found one of my sweaters in Corey's car but the thing was filthy so it needs a bath along with a few other clothes i did get all this stuff took out a uh, good one today i was taking it to storehouse for jesus but for some reason they had their their road blocked off, so you couldn't get in there. And I was like, well, I don't want to keep it in the car. Ooh, it took everything I had not to wash my car today. Because really, I didn't have the money till tomorrow, tomorrow's payday. I'm going to take that sucker first thing in the morning and wash it, though, because I can't stand it. Let me show you what a car looks like that hasn't been washed in about two weeks in North Carolina right now. that covered in pollen and it 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 doesn't transfer from the camera as good as it does from the eye it's it's completely covered in yellow grit and even worse the air tastes dirty right now you can taste the pollen on your tongue um you're breathing it up constantly my nose is just like full of stuff right now i can't breathe <laughs> and uh the doc, I did have a doctor's appointment this morning. That was supposed to be a full physical, but I started my lady lady issues. And because my lady issues have been conti continuing since I had the C word, um, I already had plans to have a second ultrasound on my lady bits because they wanted to make sure they got the IUD placement right since they had a hard time and, and kind of aren't sure. Plus, what she would have recommended for a, a lady issue that will not stop is an IUD. So, and, and while I had the IUD for 11 years, I didn't have any. So, it should have stopped it technically. So, we're going to see. So, I have to have another ultrasound and she recommended one too. Plus, like, like I said, I already had one. 
planned, just not scheduled. So I got to get on the ball and get that scheduled. Um, but I did get some of my blood work back today. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to get it all back uh, right away. But um, everything I got back, which like was my hemoglobin, uh, red blood cell count, all that, that whole list of things. Everything was in normal parameters. So I'm happy with that. You know, everything's good. Although I didn't see my A1C on there. So maybe there's some more blood tests waiting to come back. I'm not real sure. Or maybe I need to go back and look at it a little bit. But everything that was on that list, and it's quite a list, was within normal specs. And that is amazing since <laughs> before I started keto, none of that stuff was right. My platelets were through the roof. I was having to take chemo pills. Uh, my white blood cell count was always so high that they were freaking out about it. Nothing was in a normal parameters. Yes, I know that I'm getting more blood tests back because she also ran magnesium, potassium, uh, B12, D3. She she ran all those uh, vitamins for me because I'm doing keto and I asked her to. And she said, that, you know, she can make that work. So, yeah, those blood tests will be here, I guess, soon, I hope. Um, but, yeah, I had those back before the end of the day. I was very pleased with them. So, so far, so good. Uh, <laughs> uh, Weigh-in-wise, uh, just treacherously stuck in this little area. I'll get out of it eventually, maybe, hopefully. But if not, hell of a lot healthier, hell of a lot smaller than I used to be. And we'll just have to take it. But again, tomorrow, tune in tomorrow because I'm going tomorrow night, I'm going to try to do my measurements so that I can compare my measurements, uh, both from the last time I measured, which has been probably several years now. And used to be, you know, we'd always tell people when you're doing keto, Measure, 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 because even if the scale's not going down, your measurements might show something. Your body might be readjusting something, gaining muscle, different things like that. So the scale might not accurately depict your weight, but measuring would. However, I haven't went down any. I, I know that for an absolute fact. I know that I have not gotten any smaller anywhere, uh, at least currently, because I'm probably a little rounder, to be honest with you. Um, but we'll measure. We'll see where I sit, and I also want to take tomorrow night's measurements and compare them to after I have worked um, my 40 hours this weekend and see how standing on my feet for 13 hours plus affects my, my measurements, you know, especially in the ankles and the feet. I do want to see how the swelling, you know, goes, how, how much I get. It looks like I'm swollen. I can't really tell. But I also ache in my feet and ankles and all that. So, you know, I mean, I'm standing on the concrete floor and steel toe shoes for 12, 13 hours a day. So it can't be perfect. So we're going to see what that does and how it affects me. Um, so let me go ahead and show you if I, I think I took videos of everything. Let me show you everything I ate yesterday, show you my weigh-ins, and I'll be right back. Guys, it is midday here in North Carolina. This is how I'm breaking my fast. I had um, hazelnut coffee, and this is keto bread with eggs, bacon, and um, what is it, sugar-free raspberry jelly? All right, so me and Destiny stopped by um, Hardee's. These were monster doubles, mm -hmm. or supposed to be. They effed it up, <laughs> and it, it's it's lettuce wrapped. Mine was kind of messy probably gonna peel it apart and eat it that way just the beef and then the bacon and all that I have some no sugar added peanut butter on a piece of celery while I'm cooking me some shrimp kebabs I guess it's super late at night but this is dinner this is shrimp wrapped in bacon it's got different seasonings on it some garlic and stuff I'm gonna show you the box here this is the box the kids are getting this at food line I'm gonna have to go buy some of my own and Aaron bought him three boxes and decided they were too spicy for him Apparently, there's a little pep, red pepper or something. I've had them before. I couldn't tell they were super spicy, but it took about 14 minutes in the oven. And uh, for this entire box, we got three carbs, y'all. Yes. Wednesday morning, 172.6. Well, there you have it. That's how my keto day went yesterday. So, I mean... I didn't do anything wrong. I did take the cough syrup. I didn't get as much sleep as the night before or in the last several nights anyway. I think I got like five hours of sleep last night. 
my fault because I got up, jumped up, started getting ready for my doctor's appointment and didn't realize it wasn't until like 11 something. So I did not have to get up that early by no means. But once you get up and you get your blood running and bump, blood pumping, it's kind of hard to sit and chill. So, or sleep anyway. <laughs> and then you, you're already dressed and ready. And no need to mess up your hair and your clothes. Anyway, you guys, I hope you want to, if you would like, you can stick around and enjoy some beautiful scenery from the Grandfather Mountains today. Grandfather Mountain. Um, I took some, you know, some scenery in the car. It was absolutely lovely today. It, it, the, the look of it, it was so beautiful out there. And we found parts of the Blue Ridge Parkway that had very long, freaky looking bridges on them. <laughs> they were safe. They were sturdy. Don't get me wrong. It's just... When you're on them, it, it kind of feels like you're on a roller coaster. Your whole body's like, oh, this is, this does not feel okay. But it's perfectly fine. But it just, it, it's just got that sensation to it. It's like being on a very large roller coaster that goes on for hours. So, anyway, I'm going to share that with you. If you guys need help with your ketogenic journey, my contact information is below. There are some great ways to support the channel in the description below. And some pretty cool links that will help you get discounts on some pretty cool items that will help you. If you should choose to do so. So you might as well get a discount. Anyway guys and dolls. Much love. Many prayers. Make your next milk keto. Here's that video. <laughs> Just hold my pinky dude. We won't. We'll just walk down there a little bit. <gasps> yeah, I think it's too cold for this. With what we're wearing anyway. Next time. But we're at Grandfather Mountain, guys. Beautiful here. Hi, little guy. But it, it's cold. Odd, oddly. Very yeah, cold. Yeah, so we're getting back in the car. <laughs> Let him walk a little bit. Like, yeah, that's a good idea. We've been in the car for a while. I'm sorry you're going to be right back in the Get off the bridge the any quicker. We can't, we can't get off the bridge no quicker we can. Oh. Wow, that's amazing. That bridge is terrifying. That's amazing. <laughs> well, it's cold out there. Yeah. It's on the bridge. Looks like the side goes just back down the mountain, to be honest. But well, the Blue Ridge kind of winds through the mountains. They're, they're kind of neat looking. They, they just look like smoke is coming off of them from all the fog. Is that possibly what I'm seeing? Like, isn't this all connected to the smoky mountains? Yeah, but they're a good ways away. Right here will be Actually, the place my favorite. And as far as you think they are, we'll probably ain't been about 30 minutes before the mountains. The smokies are up in Gatlin, buddy. Really. The I mean, they, they're bigger than that, but. The smoky mountains run through North Carolina, Virginia, Tennessee. That is a terrifying bridge. And we, we're going too fast. We're really not going all that we're going Oh, this is terrifying but gorgeous. <laughs>
Pretty little area through here, though. Go ahead, I'll be right there. Oh, wow, the sun coming off. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting blinded. Okay, well, I guess it's the porta potties. Like you can see through the water, y'all. Gorgeous. <laughs> Hey y'all, I found the Wampum Willow and there's a tree. <laughs> it's really cool. I went playing in rocks. Couldn't help it.